one again. Um, thank you um, very much, Mr. Farrakhan. And I, I can't remember any occasion that the minister has been in the Virgin Islands and we've had the opportunity to even ask you questions. I think uh, we didn't do that in 1985. Uh, no, no questions, not in St. Croix, not in St. Thomas. So thank you for accommodating our, our students and, and the adult faculty. I want to call to the podium the principal and assistant principal of the Ivana Yodera Kent High School, Dr. McCallum. And the assistant principal, Mr. Davis. Good morning, everyone. And from the home of the Mighty Rays, we'd like to say thank you to the Honorable Minister Farrakhan, and on behalf of the Mighty Rays, we'd like to give you a jacket, the same way we gave to President Obama, to be part of the Ken team. Thank you once again for giving us this opportunity. We would also like to say thank you to Mrs. Howe and the staff, students, faculty of CAHS for allowing us to visit your campus, for your hospitality. Thank you to our sister school. Yodora Ken, let's give them a round of applause. Now, family, I want you to promise me that these two schools will never, ever break peace with each other. <laughs> Did I say the wrong thing? <laughs> but look, now the peace that we want for ourselves, we want it for our brothers and sisters in the street. So let the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So we send you forth from this in a unified place where the two principles, I think that is wonderful that the two principles engaged each other, love each other, but we, you know, we challenge each other on the football field, on the this and the that. And, and, but, but, that's all right. That's sport. And it should never, ever degenerate into violence. Always the best team today wins, but the next year the other shoe may be on the other foot. So now we win, huh? May God bless you. I'm going to wear this jacket. Please. Thank you for the jacket. Thank you for your attendance. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Brother Yusi, for allowing me to come. One more presentation. Another presentation? You got it? Go ahead, go ahead. In all fairness, I have to admit, I have to set the record straight that while we do compete very fiercely in athletics and academics and so forth, we are truly not at war with each That's other. Right. That's right. To do our presentation, I'm going to call on Assistant Principal, Mrs. Thomas Skelton, as well as President of the Senior Class, Prathima Edney. Come on up.
Good morning to all. My name is Christine Ranmeen, and I am the president of Shaw Amalia's class of 2010. <laughs> I'd like to call Ms. Skelton to address the audience. Good morning, all. Good morning. I'd like to bring the curtain down with a poem I've written entitled, Code Red, Enough Dead. Brothers and sisters, let me talk to you, please. I am humbly begging permission to address you because I am so sad and I am getting mad. I am so mad it makes me sad <laughs> and I can't keep quiet. Oh, I said I can't keep quiet quiet. You see, I am fed up. Yes, I am fed up, fed up with all the senseless killing of my young people. Friends killing friends. That posse killing this posse. Mom visual warring, what can rest to? Can crying, BCB, and Eudora Ken, they all mix up in the confusion and strumo. Round the field warring, Savan and ghettos too. Woodson, Complex, CAHS, and Central, they are all a part of this violent rugudu. <laughs> and when they war, tis a lot of blood is being shed. Tis a shooting there and a stabbing there. Funerals everywhere. Everybody's eyes is filled with water. People are bawling rivers of tears. People lock up at home, all men living in fear. Cause the criminal elements, I tell you they just don't care. Are you sad? Are you sad enough to get mad? Mothers are weeping. Children are grieving. The person is burying. The judge is judging. Newsmongers are speculating. Police are tired of all the policing. And the criminals, they're laughing. That's why I say we have to stop the madness. Yes, brothers and sisters, stop the madness. Save our generation. And bring back peace to our nation. Why is it such a big thing to live past birthday 25? Just now we won't have any young, eligible, handsome brothers alive. Black has become the standard color to wear because we are mourning 365 days of the year. Why can't I enjoy the beauty and aroma of fresh flowers? Why can't I see flowers and say, ooh, Ah, an experience, an adrenaline rush, or even a blush. I don't want to take any flowers to the cemetery. I want to send them to birthdays, weddings, graduations, and uplifting celebrations. I don't want to witness the annihilation of my generation. I don't want to cry anymore. I don't want to say so long and see you on eternity shore. I don't want to think of creative ways to extend my sympathy. That's why I said, you have to pray with me. Pray for peace over this land. Pray for the protection of the master's hand. Pray the devil back to hell. Pray without ceasing that all will be well. Before there was the internet invention and email, we did pretty good at sending out an email. Prayer works wonders, my friends. Stop what you are doing and pray for the senseless violence to end. If you can hear me, say aloud, Amen. Amen. Yes, brothers and sisters, we have to stop the madness. Yes, we have to save this dying generation. Yes, bring back peace to this nation. If you hear, my plea for peace. Say, Amen.
Amen. And may the violence cease. On behalf of our school, I would like to present a small token to our speaker for bringing us that very powerful and practical message. As young people of the community, we must heed the word and take control of ourselves. Increase the peace and reduce the violence. <laughs> present you with a token of our appreciation. And also to Senator Uti Richards, without you, this event will not be possible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Krithima, and thank you so much to Ms. Skelton. On behalf of our school, I must truly say a hearty thank you to all those who participated in any way in this program this morning. Senator Raymond Richards, for all the work that he did to make sure that we could have Minister Farrakhan here today. Minister Farrakhan for the positive message that he sent. And for me, I'm taking away this. This one thought really caught my ears and caused me to ponder. He said many years ago, as the slave ships made their way across the Atlantic, there was much more love among the slaves than there is today with all our freedoms. That truly caused me to stop and think. So I send out the message that we ought to love each other. Love each other and stop this violence. As we bring this to an end, I ask that the CAHS students remain in position. We are going to allow our guests to leave. And we will do this in an orderly fashion. I want to start by having the section of the Ken students at the back to leave. Oh, okay. Okay. I've let them go. I've let them go. Students. The last question that the sister asked about uniforms. I love you in your uniforms. Because uniforms say we dress alike. Hopefully, we'll begin to think alike. And we will never argue with each other over you got uh, uh, better dress than I. You got better uh, shoes than I. The uniform keeps you from the stupidity that's going on in the North when we compete over dress rather than competing over who's going to be the top student. May God bless you. You look beautiful in your uniform. 